Today, I'm going to teach you how to make USB dead drops. So first off, what are USB dead drops? It's a kind of anonymous, offline, peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network. It's made up of USB flash drives that are embedded in walls, buildings, and other public places. Anyone with a laptop is free to walk up and download or upload files. It's very similar to geocaching, but with data. This project was created by Berlin-based artist Aaron Bartol, who set up the first network of five dead drops in 2010. Since then, there have been over a thousand dead drop locations that have been registered at deaddrops.com. So here's how to make a traditional dead drop. First, take a flash drive and remove the plastic housing so that only the USB connector and the circuit board remain. Then wrap the circuit board in plumber's tape to help keep it sealed and protected. Now, find a wall that has a hole in it that's large enough to fit your flash drive. Stick the flash drive into the hole and fill in all the space around it with concrete patch. Once it dries, the dead drop is ready to use. That's how most dead drops are made. But you don't have to restrict yourself to just brick walls. You can embed a flash drive in just about anything. You can even make dead drops out in nature in trees and rocks. Making a dead drop in a tree is very similar. Start by taking apart the flash drive and wrapping it in plumber's tape. Then when choosing a location, find a tree that's obviously dead. Find a solid section of wood that's free from rot and drill a hole in it that's just big enough to fit your flash drive. Fill the hole most of the way up with either wood glue or wood filler. Then insert the flash drive and wipe away any excess glue. Wait for the glue to fully cure and you have a USB dead drop in a tree. You can also make dead drops in stone. The procedure for this is the same as you would use for a brick wall. The only difference is that you may need to drill into the rock in order to get a hole that's large enough to work with. So I recommend using the softest rock you can find. Otherwise it may take a while. Now it's your turn to try it out. Go embed a flash drive in something and have fun.